Is the Blake Foster, Mike Olasky fight really happening? We got some info on it. Hit that intro. I can't do this on my own. Cause you know things ain't always sweet. When you out here in these streets. But my morpher when it morphs, I made a fake one. Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the fan club. It's your boy, Braz, Dan Brosnan in the building. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. We have had a lot of questions about this one. This is this is probably one of the coolest side events, like non-official Power Ranger events I've probably ever heard of. I am a huge fan of all of the fan-made films and all of the fan-made projects out there that all of us have done. This is a little different, though. This is like... This is two... Former Rangers getting together and holding a fight in a cage, like a real MMA fight, man. The the only thing I could think of that was was super cool was like the superhero beatdowns, but those are the those aren't real though. Those are, but they look so cool. You know, it's like the a, a mega. A, uh, a mega Avengers style battle with with whoever you could think of. There's a Green Ranger one, a White Ranger one. And th those are dope. You ever saw those? Go see those. But this is a real life fight that the fans can see on their computers, on their phones, and in real life. This is also two names that are fully capable of kicking some butt. Like M Michael Lasky, Big Bang. He's more known for all of his other things than Power Rangers, but he has a tie in the Power Ranger world. Like, don't tell him he doesn't. He's in he he's in more episodes than than a lot of these other cats out here for not being a main character. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, he's a weapon specialist, MMA fighter. He's experienced. He's the type of guy you want to be in this thing because he knows what the hell he's doing. And and I've. I've definitely learned that from talking to him a few times. He runs schools. He's been in fights. He's been in, and you name it. And this guy understands what you have to do, the time you got to put in as a fighter, and then the work you got to put in as a businessman. And Blake Foster is a real good businessman. I obviously, we've never seen him fight fight like this before we know he's trained though we know that, the, that this guy is not some schmuck like he's not nate robinson where he's just gonna get swole and come out and not have no fighting experience blake foster got swole and this is definitely a super interesting fight man and if you guys can kind of well, the blue turbo ranger pretty much said he's afraid to fight me today. This, he upped his super, price from a previously agreed crazy. upon amount for uh, the second time. Just for those of you who don't know, I was in clip. talks to fight the blue turbo ranger in a real MMA match to decide who is the toughest ranger. When I had the deal done the first time, the blue ranger came back and said that it wasn't enough money at the last minute. Now that I have the deal done the second time, he's once again saying that it's not enough money. I mean, that's an easy enough way to avoid admitting that you don't want to be locked in a cage with me. Just up your price over and over and over again so that it never happens. Chess, not checkers, I suppose. But fuck it, Mike. We'll just do an Instagram live. Come to the academy. Come to my studio. And we'll just do it. I'll do it for 3K. Come put the gloves on. Let's fight. We'll Instagram live it. Let's go. Show you who's scared. It's just I don't understand. You won't do it in a cage on pay-per-view for 5K because it's not enough money, but you will do a backyard brawl for 3K on Instagram Live. I see what I'm dealing with here. That's why I'm not even dealing with it anymore. I wanna make this very clear. I never backed down from any fight ever. All I wanted to do was make more money with the fight. So stop saying I backed down and did the contract two different times. Just things don't happen accordingly in the fight contract. I'm not it. <sighs> you see what the blue turbo ranger is doing? You see, Blake Foster knows that no reputable venue or sponsor is going to give him money for work he hasn't done yet. Especially since you backed out of fighting like two times already. You do the work, then you get paid. That's how it works in every other job, that's how it works at cons, that's how it works in fighting. And I know he knows this because we've had this conversation before, like we've spoken to each other about it. Mark my words, Blake Foster is going to use the fact that he's not getting paid up front to back out of fighting me a third time. 
for everybody out there, just know contract is signed, sealed, and sent back. Let's go. Well, I'm man enough to admit when I'm wrong. I honestly didn't think that would happen. But congratulations. Just by signing that contract, that makes you one of the toughest Rangers, period. I mean, not tougher than me, but we'll prove that soon enough. But you know what this means, guys? Are you ready for another fight poem? Bangarang. This is Olasky side, but a like most of it, a lot of it that I can see is part facts. There are some things in here where they've been trying to get this deal done for a long time, guys. Okay. They have been trying and trying and trying to get this deal done. And it, it still hasn't happened. It, it is goofy. Um, and why even talk about it? Like if you're trying to like, like if you're trying to fight, meet up and it's not, it, it's long story short, Michael Lasky's trying to get this deal done. They, dudes raise his price a few different times, then they finally think it's done, and then he was holding out on the deal again, saying he wouldn't sign it. And then he's saying, yo, come here right now, we'll put it on Instagram Live. It's like, dude, really? You're gonna, yeah, you're gonna ch charge him? Yeah, give me three grand for Instagram Live, huh? You're not worth that, bro. You ain't worth no three grand for Instagram Live. It's free at that point. You feel me? You might as well. And, and I'm not I'm not trying to make this situation worse or talk crap or anything like that because I respect both of you. But at that point, you might as well just pull up on them. Screw three grand. I ain't paying three grand to come, come meet up with you. Like, we're... No one's making any money. Like, what? Are you going to pay me three grand? Like, what? <laughs> it just sounds stupid, man. Like, like Blake doesn't get it. Like, you, you got to see both sides of the coin. And that's what you got to play in these type of things. It's with fighting, with music. Dude, I book so many different shows from, from Comic-Cons to... Um, how many concerts, man, and I have never actually booked an MMA show, but my boy DeMarcus is an MMA fighter, former, I think, I, I think he's done now, I think he's done, the, um, the, the corona thing kind of canceled a lot of fights out here, um, it, it, and I think at this point, he, he ain't in it no more, but he, he, I watched him, that kind of got me into the local circuit of not, that's like, we all watch the big UFC shows, right? We all watch, every, like, every once a Saturday, it feels like, we go watch the fights, you know? But I got to see a little bit of how the local circuit works. One of my buddies came out to one of my songs one time and, and knocked the dude out, and they played the song while he's, he's celebrating in the ring. I'm just trying to live, I'm just trying to live. But let's get back to the point, man. These two guys are very experienced, like, in the con community. Mike is in the MMA community. Blake is, is definitely trained. He's just never been in, in a real sanctioned MMA fight. So his expectations of what he's thinking are a little bit different, man. I'm th saying right now, Blake... Mike, you guys have an amazing opportunity to do something. Set aside your differences, get the money right, meet in the middle, and this could lead to a lot more things, man. Like, there might be some other past rangers that look at this and be like, man, I'd love to step into that cage. You're like, always had a small beef with someone from set, or anything, man, this sounds so cool. You guys could do something that no one else has ever done. You guys could make your own Power Rangers Fight Club, man. Get out of here. Put the money aside. The first show is not going to make you that much money. That's what you got to like wrap your head around. And if it does, it does. Awesome. The thing is, is your first one, this is the first time you've ever done this crap, man. You're, you you got to get it out there and expose it. And A, 
put all your money into marketing and getting it on a digital platform where you can reach millions of people. And if you don't even make that much money the first time, but you reach millions of people, then you can have a second one because more people will, will be into it. Like there's levels to this, man. Um, I, I see it. I have done so many shows, not MMA. That's the only one I haven't done, but Mike is so real on this. There are points in here that he is correct on where, where he says in this video, like, like you get how this works. Like he tells Blake, like, why are you acting so dumb with this situation? You understand how this works at cons. He wants more money. He wants it all up front, but you can't give it to you all up front. You, it, it doesn't matter who you are. Like you could be Wiz Khalifa. You could be Barry Manilow. You could be Elvis. You're not getting all the money up front, man. You're not getting it. I'm sorry. You, it doesn't matter. You could be Nate Diaz. I'm not giving you all of the money right now. Because I don't know anything could happen in the future. Of course, you're going to get some of it. We'll give you a deposit, 25 to 50%. Whenever you guys work out, that, that's not up to me. But you guys, it's just like anything else in business. I run businesses too. That's why I love this kind of stuff. And I love seeing people act goofy on things like, well, actually, it should be this way. And business is different. There's always different ways to do business. But... There's an unspoken truth, an unspoken guideline that, you know, if you're trying to work with me, let's work something out then. Let's, let's quit pussyfooting around this. Pull the trigger, bro. So we, we have an actual, a real fight happening. Blake signed the contract. This is interesting. I was not expecting this. I had to message Big Bang himself and be like, bro, I'm so confused. Is this happening? And he's like, for now it is. Like, for now it is. It's signed. So he, it, it sounds weird. Like, we're getting it. I'm just losing optimism. And this is the last chance I'm giving you guys. Because, you know, I've been invested in this. I love the Power Ranger community. I might make one or two more videos on it if we ever find out if, if it's going to happen. Like, if it doesn't happen, I'll make maybe one more video about it. But if it happens, I'll, I'll keep giving you guys coverage of it. I think this is super interesting. But this is one of your last chance, guys. Get it together. You're going to start to lose everyone's attention with this. Like, it's got to happen eventually. You can't draw it off too long. Then, I mean, because if it doesn't, if it, like... It's one of those where you got to at least get something happening soon or people are just not going to believe it no more. They're just going to, you know, be like, oh, that, that's just one of those, like, those pipe dreams. And when it actually happens, people might not even believe it until it actually happens, which that might help you view-wise. So let's, let's see, but that might not help you view-wise at the same time. And I love talking about this stuff. I, I, lo I love you guys, and yeah, th there's some smack talk here for you, Blake, but at the same time, I really appreciate what you've done in the Ranger community. I've never showed any hate for what you did for Power Rangers. I thought it was one of the coolest things, seeing a kid as a kid, like, I think you're only, like, a couple years older than me, bro, and it was dope. Nobody, nobody back in the day was hating on that except for people that were weren't kids no more. It was like, why would they have a kid ranger? Yeah, it didn't make the most sense, but it was fun. It was fun. And then what did they hit us? Right with Turbo. They hit us with, Be with the Big Bad Beetleborgs. They were trying to take that idea and run with it. So, bro, you, you, you were definitely one of those pioneers. Um, I don't think that business mind-wise, you're, you're, you're doing the best thing. I mean, I think it's never good. You know what Michael Lasky does. You know how he's like on TikTok and Facebook. 
He's been talking trash. You're going to give him any opportunity to make you look bad? Like, then the fans killed him, man. Like, like this is why Mike signed in the first place, in my opinion, is because his name was getting ran through too much mud. At the end of the day, there, if you typed in Blake, uh, Blake Foster and like, saw his name trending, it was probably negative stuff online because people were pissed. People were like, come on, dude, how, how, how are you going to get out of this fight? Let, like, make it happen, or quit talking about it, guys. Get that fight going. What do you guys think? You want to see this fight? Let me know in the comments. Man, I just want to, I want to thank Blake Foster. I want to thank Mike Big Bang Olasky. You guys are awesome. Yeah, there's a little smack talk here, but this is what it's about, baby. It's MMA, and this is hype. You want some hype for your show? Well, there you go. We love you guys. Thanks for watching the fan club. If you like this video, hit the like. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Also, go to buymeacoffee.com slash the fan club. You can send us a coffee. It goes a long way, and we really appreciate it. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.